what we need to understand about a question like this is if you have a graph, now this is a cubic graph, so it, ha it will take on a shape something like that. If you had to draw a tangent, that tangent would look something like that. Now, we know that a tangent is a straight line, so its general equation is y equals to mx plus c. Now, m is its gradient. What we need to realize and what we need to remember about a tangent is that if you had to zoom in to this area over here, we can see that the tangent of the graph, I mean the, the ta I mean the ta sorry, the gradient of the tangent and the gradient of the graph are the same. Okay, that is the critical thing that we need to know. I'm going to write that down. Gradient of a tangent is always equal to the gradient of graph at the point where they are touching. Okay, so our goal is to find the gradient of this graph because then, and, and we want to find the gradient of the graph at that point. Now we know that in calculus, to find the gradient, you use the first derivative. So we are going to take the first derivative of this, which is going to be 3x squared minus 6x minus 6. Now we're not going to make it equal to 0, because that would be saying that the gradient is 0, and no one said that. What we do know, though, is that the x value is 2. So we are going to fill in the x value of 2. And if you do that, you get a value of minus 6. What that means is that the gradient of the graph is minus 6 when x is 2. So the gradient of our line is also going to be minus 6. Okay? Now some of you watching this might say, hey, but this line has a positive gradient. Yeah, but this was just an example that I was showing you. I had no idea what the graph actually looks like. Okay, so we now have the gradient of the tangent. Now how would you normally find your c value? Well, you would plug in a point. The problem is, we all that we know about this point is its x value is 2, but we don't know its y value. But what we can do is realize that it's on the graph, this original graph here. And so we could plug that x value into that equation and we would be able to find the y value at that point. And so that's going to be 2 to the 3. So I'm just plugging in x is 2 now. And if you do that, you would get a value of minus 24. So this means that the y value is minus 24. So I'm now going to change this to be 2 and minus 24. Now that point is also on the tangent. So we can use it to help us find c. And so we can say minus 24 equals to minus 6 times 2 plus c. If you do this, c would be minus 12. And so the equation of that tangent is y equals to minus 6x minus 12.